Hello. Let's walk through this reading that we just did and note all the passives. You might hear my cat. You might also hear the bass from my obnoxious downstairs neighbor. Luckily, at the volume you will hear it on YouTube, it will not cause any cerebral hemorrhages. So, starting off, well, this is in the form of a letter, so salwete, o di de aique. So salwe, of course, is hello. So here we're saying hello, o gods and goddesses. Noster amicus peleus magna concilia habet. So noster, remember, is our first person plural possessive adjective. So our friend Peleus, he has big plans. Concilium concilii is neuter, second declension. So concilia will be neuter accusative plural. Then these big plans, well, nymphon thetidem in matrimonium ducet. So the nymph Thetis, a lot of names that come from these, um, a lot of Greek names will often have this is, it is sort of third declension -y form here. So we have the nymph Thetis in matrimonium into marriage, duquette. Now, although this trails off a little bit on my poor scan job here, you'll see that this is an E. So it's not leads, but will lead. This is important. So he will lead the nymph Thetis into marriage. Now, because Latin is a slightly sexist language in a patriarchal system, extremely patriarchal, well, the words for marriage are different for the different genders. So if you are talking about a man marrying a woman, well, then he will lead the woman into marriage. And it doesn't have its own verb. The word that our word nuptials and other things come from, which we'll see um, actually not in this reading, just in something that you'll get next assignment, actually, is nubo nubere nupsi nuptus. And that's the word for marrying that can only be used of a female subject who is marrying a man. So we get words like nuptials in English from that, but you don't use that phrase if you're talking about it from the man's point of view. It's asymmetric and it's weird. So anyway, he will lead the nymph Thetis into marriage, by which we mean he will marry her. So, vos igitur ame yoe ad tersalium vocamini. So, vos is going to be you, therefore, by me, Jove, Jupiter. Remember that his name is Jupiter, but then his stem for all the rest of that is I-O-V for Jove. He has a strange sort of name. We've talked a little bit about the etymology behind that earlier, or rather the linguistic developments. Um, no need to get into that now. So you, therefore, by me, Jupiter, well, you are Wokomini, you are called the Thessaly. Thessaly being a region in north easternish Greece. So Wokomini is the point of this here as we're practicing our passives. So you remember your passive endings, are rister, mer, mini, enter. Well, that mini tells you you are in the present second person plural, passive. So you are called, or let's say invited, because called sounds kind of weird. So then expectate bonus ludos et dulces epulas. So look out for, or probably just expect here in its most banal translation, good games and sweet feasts, or a sweet feast, because often epulae in the plural is translated just as a singular feast kind of like how castra is a neuter plural, right, that we translate as a single camp. So then, debitus autem de his periculis monere, moneri, sorry. So you ought, however, debitus autem, de his, about these periculis, about these dangers, to be warned. Notice our present passive infinitive here. It's a complementary infinitive depending on debitus. So you ought to be warned. So for your first, second, and fourth conjugation, you can form your present passive infinitive just by replacing the E at the end of your normal second principal part with this happy little letter I. And speaking of the letter I, that's actually a one. Quoniam, peleus mortalis est, animus eus terribiter sin nimis potentes vidabimur. So since Peleus is mortal, and if you were reading the key, you noticed I had a horrible typo where I said he is moral. Well. Maybe. I mean, he was a Greek heroic fellow, so I'm not sure how moral we can call him. But since he is mortal, his soul, animus eus, terre bitter, will be terrified. Because terreo terere is a second conjugation. And so the first and second conjugations go bor 
Boar, Bayris, Bitter, Bimmer, Bimini, Bunter. While Third, Third Island, Fourth go, you know, R, Aeris, Aeter, Amer, Amini, Enter. The passive version of the future difference that we've already seen in the active that we learned at the beginning of the year. So his soul will be terrified. Kind of a weird thing to say. If nimis potentes would a beamer, if we will seem excessively nimis potentes, excessively powerful. So one weird little thing about the verb widea widere is in the passive, it can mean not just to be seen. If I want to say, oh yes, that bird is being seen by me right now, you could use it like that just to be the normal old passive of see. But if something is seen, well, if I am seen to be a jerk, well, maybe I just seem like a jerk. So the word widow, you know, when you put widow in the passive, often is just used to mean seem. And that is honestly a lot more common than the straight up passive form of is being seen. So if we seem too powerful, his soul will be terrified. Then, qui audet sine dono venire, a me castigabitur. So here we're getting into a little bit of a threat. So who dares sine don without a gift to come? Whoever dares come without a gift? Well, that person, we've suppressed our antecedent of qui actually here, will be castigated, will be chastened, scolded, maybe even punished. Ame, by me. So notice how your passive verbs will pair up with this prepositional phrase, a, or ob, plus the ablative to indicate who is doing a thing. So whoever dares show up without a gift will be chastened by me. Legate genera donorum quae laudabunta ob omnibus qui ea litabunt. So here, this isn't read, but this is pick out. And reading and picking out are kind of the same thing. If you remember how there wasn't punctuation in the ancient world, you sort of have to pick out the words as almost like orally by saying them. Um, so pick out genera, types of gifts, quae laudabunter, which will be praised ob omnibus, by everybody, qui ea widabunt, by everybody who will see them. This is a little awkward, but we're jamming in as much passive as we possibly can. So pick types of gifts, which will be praised by all who will see them. Remember, genera is coming from genus generis, or type. Our sciencey words like genus and stuff like that come from it, and I'm sure you can think of a happy hundred others. But then, well, things get a little dark. Tu sola, o dea discordia, non vocaris. Nam a nulo amaris. So you alone, O oh dea discordia, you are not called or invited. You can hear that my cat is not happy in the background. Nam a nulo amaris. For you are loved by no one. So another passive. Si venies, if you will come, omnis deus in Olympo ira moebiter. Every god in Olympus will be moved with anger, so they will be angry. Inter amicos discordia, non debet tolerari. So among friends, discord should not be tolerated, another present passive infinitive. Then, poine dabunter ab eo deo qui sum officium negligit. Valete. So this is a phrase that actually got left out of the key or got deleted, I'm not sure how that happened, and is a phrase also that we haven't really seen much in our readings, but is common in other Latin courses. So if I if I dare a poena, literally I give the penalty. That's not used for punishing, but that's the person that pays the penalty. Like we'll say, you'll pay the price if you do a thing. So penalties will be given, will be paid by Eodeo, by that god who will neglect his duty. Goodbye. And I say to you also, Goodbye.